when you're a solopreneur, there are two things that I know to be true. Number one is that your connection and relationship with your customers and clients is so, so important. And number two is you don't have a ton of time. So you're really looking for time-saving strategies and activities that you can do once and will continue to produce results again and again and again. I'm Whitney Ryan, copywriter and content strategist, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build your customer relationship with just a few minutes of your time. I'm gonna hop behind the camera, or hop behind the laptop, um, and show you exactly how to use Ystamp, which is a free program to help you create a really beautiful and really professional looking email signature that will help build that relationship with each and every person you email. So the first thing you want to do is go to ystamp.com and sign up for a free account. And this is what you are going to see next. You're going to see this screen, you're going to see the sample signature down here, and really all we have to do is update it. Um, I'm going to show you just this first one that pops up because I think it looks pretty nice, um, but there are a lot of other templates that you can choose from. So we will start by putting in your name and title. So that's number one. Um, you can, if you want, update this to your brand colors, which I recommend doing. So you just click on more colors and then you can pop in whatever color you want there. It looks like for this template, it doesn't change anything, but Let's just scroll through here. And as you can see, for some of them, it does. So it just depends on the template that you're using, but we'll go back to this super simple one. Um, for company, you can put in your company name. For phone number, obviously, you will put in your phone number. You'll put in your website and put in your email. The rest of these, it's up to you what kind of information you have. In mine, I just have phone, website, and email because um, these are really the ways that I want people to get in touch with me and my website. Obviously, I want to make it easy for them to learn more if they want to know more about my business. So that's really the basic stuff right there. You could leave it just like this and it would be really helpful for people so that they can always contact you if they need you. Um, I also like to add some more. So you can go over here and actually add your headshot so you can see a picture come up. Um, for this, uh, you can actually, you can connect to Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can also just upload a photo that's already on the web. You can take a live photo if you want. I've got my headshot already saved to my desktop, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, and I do recommend using a pretty simple photo here. You want something that obviously kind of shows your personality a little bit if possible, um, but as you'll see, it's a really small um, photo. So you don't want it to be super crazy or super artsy and people can't see you. I think it's always good if people can see your face and they can kind of get a, a little bit of a feel for you and just strengthen that personal connection. You can click through here if you want to use slightly different shapes. So we'll keep it a circle, keep it a little bit interesting. You can also add in your um, social profiles here. So we'll start with Facebook. Just paste in your Facebook URL. Um, and you can go through and do the same for Twitter. And you can click on add another here and you can add Pinterest, you can add Google+, YouTube, Instagram, and a slew of other, uh, other channels here. And you can also grab and rearrange um, the social icons however you like. So we'll keep going down here. There's a bunch of signature apps that you can add. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit. So I think you wanna be choosy here. 
Um, I don't think that you want to just put everything because then it's going to get kind of overwhelming and people won't know where to go. And, you know, when you're presented with too many choices, you don't do anything. So I kind of like to just pick maybe two of these, ideally one, so that people have just got kind of one next step if they want to keep going. The favorite one that I like, and this is the one that I use on my signature, is the blog and the RSS feed. I think blogging is the best way that you can build your business and build that relationship. So that's what I use and that's what I recommend. So I'll show you this one first. Um, super simple. You're just going to put in the title here, which will be, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. I like to make this an action. So instead of just saying my blog, I would have it say, read my latest blog post. And then you put in the link to your RSS feed. So this is mine. Um, it's just my website with slash feed slash at the end. Um, if you don't know what yours is, try this. Try adding this to the end and see if it works. Um, if not, just Google how do I find my RSS feed WordPress or how do I find my RSS feed Squarespace or whatever um, website platform you're using. That's honestly how I found mine. It just takes a couple minutes. So I'll add that to the signature. And you can see that's what comes up right down here. This is the title the kind of action-oriented read my latest blog post. And then you can see it just pulled in my very latest blog post there. So that's something that I really like to have. I'll show you a couple more of these. Um, of course, we've got the social, um, social media follow ones. I would just pick your favorite one if you're really big on Facebook or you really wanna grow your Twitter following, um, stuff like that. I would pick one because you'll see here that they're kind of large. So if that's your one CTA, then make sure it's gonna be worth it for your business. I think it's cool, you can also feature YouTube videos if you want, um, I think that's kind of neat if you've got a really great video that you wanna drive views to. Um, but there's some more business-oriented ones that I think are very important too. So you can schedule a meeting. This one's super helpful if you use an online scheduler. It can just save a ton of time so you don't have to constantly do a back and forth email tag to find a great time to meet. Um, you can promote a sale or a discount. With the sales promoter here, again, you can update the title to say, check out our big sale and link text 50% all new coaching packages for example, and then you can put a link um, directly to where you want people to go. You can update the icon here and mm, I don't have a page, but just for example pur purposes so you can see what this looks like. You'll see it down here. And again, you can take these and drag them around if you want. Um, you can see there's ways to promote your webinar or your event. And this works very, very similarly to the sales one that I showed you before, where you can kind of pick your little icon or you can go with none if you don't want any. So again, I would just pick one or two of these. Even this to me, if you take a look, looks pretty busy. Like this is for my taste too much because I don't know if I want people to check out my sale, if I want them to read my latest blog post, if I want them to follow me on Twitter. I kind of like it to be more direct than that. And I just pick the one or two most important things that I would like people to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this follow on Twitter. And I'm gonna get rid of check out our big sale because I don't have one. That's not actually linking to anything. So I'll say this is pretty perfect for what I'd like my signature to look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. Now you'll see here, um, that there's an upgrade now. There's a little thing over pro. I personally use the free version. I think it's great for me. It's good enough for what I need. But if you do want to upgrade, um, there's a lot more flexibility. You can customize a lot more. Um, so it, either way you slice it, you're going to have a cool looking signature. So by default, Ystamp connects with Gmail, um, which is what I use to manage my work emails and my personal emails. Um, so for me, I don't need to do anything fancy, but um, what you can do if you want to connect with another email server, there are a couple. You'll just click this thing to export your signature. Um, you can connect to Thunderbird, iOS Mail, Mac, or Outlook. 
it looks like that's all they currently connect with now and you do need a pro account. Um, but after you've saved the changes, you're just gonna go over to Gmail. And I actually already have Wise Stamp installed um, because I do use it. Um, so I'm just gonna log back in here. Okay, and this is so simple. All I need to do now is click on Compose to open up a new email. And you will see that my signature is already automatically pulled down at the bottom here. And then you just type your email, goes here, and you've got your handy little signature at the bottom. If you ever wanted to delete it, you totally could. You could just highlight and delete the whole thing, or you could delete sections of it if I wanted to get rid of that blog post, or um, I don't know, if for some reason I didn't want my phone number on that contact, I could just take it right out. So there you go. It's a really easy way to add an email signature to your emails. This looks beautiful on whether it's a smartphone or whether it's my desktop. So I highly recommend giving it a try. It does add um, first some personality to your emails and second, just actual objective information that people need, like how to contact you if they need you, where your phone number is, how they can reach you, and some next steps if people want to connect on social media, check out your blog, check out your sales, all that good stuff. So I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to help you. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Have a good one.